Can it be a magnificent win? Jail Racer showing the boys. Angelo, Steve Sue to the lead. I often wonder why I train such a difficult sport. It is the only sport I can think of where men and women compete against each other. And last time I checked, women aren't doing so well. But that won't change my mind. It's too late now. I've got the bug and that won't change. My name is Oceane Colangelo, AKA Girl Racer 46. I'd like to share with you my story. So join me in my quest to become successful in the world of motor racing. Let's make this journey together and see exactly what it takes to make a dream come true. We will travel all over this great big continent of Australia, which is great fun at first, until you do it over and over and over again. Each episode, we get to understand what motor racing is about through the eyes of a female. The struggles faced and the determination needed to succeed in a male-dominated sport, where money is king. We get to make interesting friends in interesting places, test our different equipment, and best of all, we get to test my dad's theory that it's not the destination that counts, but rather the journey. Hopefully the journey is fun because the destination seems so far away. In today's episode, we reflect on the early and simple years as I cut at night. See how I got the bug and who inspired me. I'll give you a clue, it's in my number. And they call him the doctor. Oh, and one more thing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Enjoy. This here drives for also meet and Queensland Junior Top Gun are my two favourite traits. But they're all started from Let me explain. As far back as I can remember, there was steering wheels and music. Oh, and there was Valentino. They ruled my life as much as fit and sleep. I tried other things, hacking, lightsabers, DJing, superheroes, guitars, cooking, even water sports. And I liked them all, but driving was the most fun. So my dad took me to a higher track and I was fucked right from the very beginning. What a drive from right up the back of the grid. Oceana. Awesome drive. Awesome drive. Did you know Crane was leading the uh, race earlier today? Fortunately, turn around. What a comeback. Never give up. So I progressed to dirt with my own full straight cut, and soon I was slapping most of the field. So my dad said, time for the real thing. I got my licence and off to the track we went. And boy, did I love it. My number was two and it seemed fitting as I kept coming second. And Colangelo goes through into second. Colangelo gets second. Colangelo! An eight year old got me a bag of trophies, and I was one of the 20 chosen from hundreds all over the country to be a good kid for the Formula One. What an experience! I knew then and there I wanted to be an F1 driver, and all of a sudden I started winning. Wow, what a sensation! I love being at the front and fighting for the boys for a spot on the podium. Run, baby! First victory! <laughs> Let me see that smile!
if you can. Unbelievable stuff. Colangelo answered them all and went a tenth quicker than every single one of them. Oceana Colangelo, she knows what's going on. She's just hit the line pedal and squeezed a little bit harder. Look at this. Colangelo, she's gone on the B of the bang and she's hit the afterburners already. She's gone. Someone needs a long, long fishing line to pull her in because she's spooling them. She's gone. This is the final. Oceana Colangelo for the last time. The girl racer. She's been out front all race long. Can she hold on? This weekend could be a big weekend for Oceana. She's trying to get a win in every race, right up to the final. Little Oceana Colangelo, she said this morning to me, she wants to be a Formula One driver. She started in the right way, ain't she? <laughs> Goodness me, here we go. Colangelo looks to have got the whole shot, but Seiko slotted into P2. Colangelo's opened up a good gap. The girl at the front, Oceana I must admit, winning is an awesome sensation. Our motor racing isn't all about winning. In fact, we spend so very little time winning. There is a saying, to finish first, first you must finish. And that alone can be tricky. A lot of things have to go your way, and a lot of the time they don't. Engines stall, chains come off, and flat tyres are still a thing. Or rains and chaos follow. Sometimes you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. The worst thing is being hit off track by someone whose ambition is greater than his ability. I guess we are all a little guilty of that at times. And that's a part of racing, a real big part. You have to take the good with the bad, and in my experience, there is so much good. To go racing is like being in a dream. Every now and then it can turn into a nightmare, but my dad is there, so I know it's going to be okay. Because when I fall asleep in the back seat as we drive home, I know my dad is driving and not me. See you next episode where I step up to the scary world of Cadet 12. And also, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button, please. Race hard and race fair. Bye for now. A big shout out to Derek Jones of Power Public fame for being there at the start. Also to Raymond Gravano for being my first sponsor. A special mention to Polyvi Productions via Matt Lord, the music guru, for the music he wrote for this episode, Demir for the awesome drone shot, and my dad for the tireless work he puts in.